What's up, everybody? It's been a long time since I've been in the closet, and now I'm back because this is where I started sharing my dreams. So once in a while, I just got to come back. So just a short little message today. First of all, um, we're not out of the woods yet as far as potential war because I read this really disturbing article about how Israel is preparing for the U.S. to strike Iran. So, possibly. So the article says possibly. And we know all the strange, bizarre, nonsensical events that have taken place in order either to fool us or to make an attempt to start a war, uh, whether it be the oil tanker bombings last year, um, or soul of money, soul I am, son of man. Um, and that the, the retaliation for that just made absolutely no logical sense whatsoever. And um, the whole situation was extremely bizarre, if you could recall what happened at the beginning of this year. Now I got a question for you guys, completely off topic now, because I really don't want to discuss this. I figure we made it this far without waging more war, perhaps, uh, sorry, perhaps we can continue without waging war, and that would be the best outcome that we could get. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about uh, reincarnation, and um, it never really sat well with me, at least the idea, the conventional idea of reincarnation and karma how your soul owes a debt. Um, yes, there is um, a natural law. If you conduct an action, you expect a reaction to reverberate back to you. So if you hurt someone, it will return back to you. It's just simply part of the natural law of the universe that it's going to come back to you. Now, whether or not that has to be through reincarnation, I don't think that's necessarily the case at all. If you can remember the folks I was hanging out with in hell, um, they were certainly um, sowing, uh, they sowed what they, what they planted <laughs> while they were on earth, right? So, but that's not the issue. I'm sure you guys have heard about the reincarnation population problem. So, even if you look at conventional history and the population that we've been told about, now, I don't subscribe to our conventional history anymore. I'm not a young earth creationist in a sense, and I'm neither on the scientific spectrum that it's 4.3 billion years old. I'm kind of like in between. I think that the true age of the earth is probably between 150 million and 300 million years old. Having said that, I also think uh, humans have lived um, longer than we've been told, and um, that could potentially explain some of the reincarnation issues in terms of population. But what I'm trying to say is, over the course of human history, they claim that around 200 billion people have ever lived on the earth. Now, just in the last hundred years or so, we have an explosion of up to 8 billion people. So there's like a huge gap here. The 8 billion and 200 billion is like 3%. So is that implying like 3% of the souls are reincarnating? Or... You see what I'm trying to say? And then you have the gap between the number of people dying and the number of people being uh, born every day. So you have around 150,000 people dying. And you have around 200 plus thousand being born every day. And then you have the enormous number of children who have passed. If uh, we subscribe to reincarnation the way we think of it, what would, would one... Wouldn't it make sense that it would be the children, priority for them to return to at least attempt to have a full life experience? Because if they died young without memories of living, 
then that kind of defeats the purpose unless there is a specific plan in that but um i would assume that those who didn't make it into adulthood would reincarnate and then there's the possibility of you know parallel earths so it's like one could say population is irrelevant because there's just an infinite countless number of parallel earths that they can reincarnate to yeah they can but that's still a different realm even if there's slight deviations and differences between this earth and another that's still another earth that's their earth and this is ours like I'll, we are still living in one location one reality i believe that now i know Daralanka and people who channel say that we're all each living in our own individual um simulation right our own personalized customized simulation yeah i mean that's possible living in eternal creation of course there's all this time in the universe to create a personalized experience just for you and not only are some people npcs in that case but everyone would be an npc and you would be the only real one then you could reincarnate as much as you want because you're not part of a population pro problem because you're just in a program something still doesn't add up here something still doesn't add up to me with the conventional explanation the conventional view of reincarnation um i did hear about the theory of soul groups uh groups and in those groups y you have a soul family and it's the soul family that reincarnates in cycles right that makes more sense to me so it, it really kind of depends on what you think of as you or you as a soul you are as a character you as a essence who is it that you really are are you as an individuated unit just part of a greater unit or are you just by yourself i don't know i mean it's just something to think about 200 billion people throughout earth's history last hundred years population explosion there's a huge gap in the number of souls who can incarnate in this specific realm specific times just want to know what you guys think about that what your theories are what your ideas if you don't believe in reincarnation at all that's fine with me i really kind of i'm just on the fence about all this stuff so i'm just researching and learning so let me know what you think